Today we are making a very simple and small shoulder bag. And I will be using some brown medium weight acrylic yarn and a 5mm hook and a yarn needle. And we'll start off with a slip knot. And to make a slip knot, hold the yarn with the tail end at the bottom of your hand, grab the working yarn at the top, and wrap it around two fingers to form an X. Use your hook and go under and over and pull the piece of yarn through. Remove your fingers and pull to tighten the knot. And now we're going to start chaining. And to chain, yarn over and pull through. Again, yarn over and pull through. And we're going to chain the horizontal length of our bag. So this is how wide you want the bag to be. And after you chain the length that you want, make sure to add a couple more chains because after you start crocheting, it will shorten a little bit. So I ended up with a total of 35 chains and now we can start half double crocheting. But you can do this in single crochets or double crochets if you want. So to half double crochet, we're going to yarn over, we're going to skip the first chain and into the second chain, insert our hook into the center of that V, going under just one loop and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And then we're going to do another half double crochet into the same chain. Yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And then we're going to do just one half double crochet into each of the rest of the chains except for the very last one. So only the very first chain has two half double crochets and all the rest in the middle will have just one. And in the very last chain, we're going to do two half double crochets instead of just one. So after I've done my first one into that chain, I'm going to do my second one into that same chain. And then we're going to sort of rotate our project to the right so we can start working on the other side of our foundation chain. And now we're going to be going under these loops. So if we go back into those same holes that we did earlier, it's going to create an even bigger hole. So we want to go under these instead. And into our very first chain on the other side, we're going to do two half double crochets. So this chain has a total of four half double crochets with two on either side. And then we're going to continue half double crocheting until we reach the last chain again. And into this chain, we're going to do two half double crochets as well. And then to close off the round, we're going to slip stitch into our very first stitch of this round. So just look for our very first half double crochet, and then we're going to go to the right of it and you'll see this sort of V. And we're going to go under these two loops with our hook. And then we'll yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on our hook and tighten it. So this is a slip stitch and we're going to do this at the end of every round. And after this round, we should have a total of 72 half double crochets. And at the beginning of every round, we're going to chain one. So this was round one, and now we're going to start round two with a half double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. We're going to insert our hook under those same two loops and then complete our half double crochet. And then we'll move on to our next stitch and continue this all the way around. And once you reach the end, it should start to look like this. And then you want to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And then again, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to continue working in these rounds until we get the size of the bag that we want. And for mine, I did a total of 18 rounds. So here I'm just on my sixth round. And you can see that the seam where we slip stitch does sort of slant to our right. But this is perfectly normal. 
but if you want it to be less visible, then make sure to tighten it really tight on your slip stitches. So I have finished 18 total rounds and the measurements of my bag are about 22 centimeters or 9 inches wide and about 14 centimeters or 5 and a half inches long. And once you're happy with the size of your bag, we can fasten off. And to fasten off, first we'll chain one to make a knot and then we're going to cut off our yarn just a few inches so we can sew it in and then pull with your hook. Now we're going to work on the strap. So I am going to be slip stitching the strap directly onto the bag, but if it's easier for you, then you can just do one row of half double crochets with the length of the strap that you want and then sew it on. First, we're going to lay our bag completely flat and then we're going to designate two stitches each on the left and right side of the bag to be our center. If it makes it easier for you, you can mark these four stitches with a stitch marker. And we'll first attach our yarn to the stitch on the right in the back. And to attach our yarn, we're going to pull through and tie a double knot into that stitch, making sure to leave at least a few inches so we can sew it in. And then we'll insert our hook into that same stitch and pull up a loop. And then we're going to chain until we reach the length of the bag strap that we want. So I did a total of 55 chains. And once we're done, we can slip stitch onto the other side into the back stitch as well. And then we'll slip stitch into the stitch to the left of it, which is the front on the left side. And then skipping our first two slip stitches, we're going to start half double crocheting into the chain that we did. And then once we have double crocheted into the very last chain, we're going to slip stitch into the front stitch on the right side of the bag. And now we are finished with the strap and if you are happy with it, then we can fasten off by chaining one and cutting off a strand long enough to sew in. And this is how the bag is looking right now. And the very last step is to sew in all of our ends. So I actually like how the inside looks more than the outside. And I usually weave in my ends on the side where you can't see. So if you want to do that, then flip the bag so that the side that you want to be on the outside when you're done is on the inside. And here is how I like to sew in my loose end. So I'm just going to take this loose end and thread it through our needle. And then I'm going to pull it down to where we can go under our stitches. And then we'll go through our stitches, just a few of them. And then turn back around, skip a stitch, and go under those same stitches. And then I am going to go back again, skip one, and go under those same stitches. And then we can just cut off the excess yarn. And we're going to do that to all of the other loose ends. And once we're done, we're going to turn it inside out. 
and here is the finished product. And that is all for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.